chat. So, so everyone, if you can get your MS project ready for tonight, we will definitely be doing that. Okay. All right. Let's talk about planning. Let's talk about planning uh, um, very quickly. And when we talk about planning, we're talking about, you know what, you've got a project and how do you go from point A to point B? What do you need to do from point one, point A to point B? And you will agree with me that there's a wise saying that says that if you fail to plan, then you're planning to fail. Okay, if you fail to plan, then you're planning to fail. And for most of us here, we're Christians and Jesus Christ speaking, he said that if a man wants to build a house, we not sit down and plan first. So that shows that, you know, what planning is very, very critical when we're talking about project management. And this is more like the bedrock of anything you want to talk about, planning. So that's what we will be talking about tonight. And when we talk about planning, what exactly are we talking about? Don't forget that we once spoke about WBS. If you all can remember, we once spoke about, you know, a work breakdown structure. And when you have your work breakdown structure, what do you now need to do about it? Uh, just like the just like the project we're running at the moment, we told ourselves, you know what, I need to plan. You need we're saying that it's seven to nine, I mean nine to eleven every night. You need to tell yourself that you know I need to get my children to bed, I need to get back from work uh, on, on Thursday very early. I need to make sure I eat, I need to get ready, get my laptop ready, uh, get the children to bed as early as possible, listen. Uh, get my phone beside me so that I can record in case the recording is not being done and all that. You've planned. You've planned. You've made contingencies as well. To that, that's exactly what we're talking about when it comes to project. And whenever you're doing, you're running a project as a project manager, you are expected to plan and also to share your plan with uh, with everybody. And when we talk about planning, for me, I always go through a kind of six steps. Six steps when we talk about planning. And the first one is, you know what, you need to define your activity, define activity. Uh, number two is, you know what, you need to sequence, sequence activity. The next one is, you now need to estimate activity resources. You estimate activity Duration. Another thing you need to do is you need to now, you know what, develop your project, project schedule. The next, you now start controlling, control and monitor project schedule. Okay. In all of these, in all of these, what exactly are we talking about? You know, uh, uh, in in the project, in the um, in the projects we're working on, if we have to talk about, you know, what are the key activities we need to go through? What are the key activities we need to run through uh, whenever we we're all doing our project? And I'll give us the opportunity to say, you know, what well, the first thing we need to do is we need to define those activities. Let's define what are the key activities we need to do. What are those key activities we all need to go through? What are those key activities we need to talk about? Uh, don't forget that earlier we might have developed our work breakdown structure. And I'll, I'll leave I'll leave the comment session open for all of us to just throw in. So don't bother whether it is it is we need to do one thing before we do the next, or we need to do this before we do the next. Don't bother about that yet. Okay. What I want you to do is I just want you to list activities you think we need to do with our office 365 project what are what are the activities that is coming to your mind for us to do you can use your chat comment to, to list all of that okay let's go ahead i'm waiting Okay. Wow. 
project. Okay. Requirement gathering and baselining. Okay, yeah. Training, correct, yeah. Still waiting. Recruitment, okay. All right. That's 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 fantastic from everybody. Uh let's let's talk about you know what? Let's let's like I said, we don't need to we don't need to um um what is it called? We don't schedule work, start using official across the whole company step by step, make sure everything goes well. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Uh give me one minute. I've got some activities listed. Okay. I just got distracted. Apologies for that. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay. So we can say that organized project, what do you mean organized project, Angela? Because that's what we're trying to do. Oh, from DG, figure out what we need, office three, fire for, make a plan, get the right office licenses, make sure our computers and internet are ready for office 365, move all, our stuff like emails, files to, yeah. Uh, okay, makes sense. All right, so like all you guys have done so far is to list or define activities and list all the activities. So when we go into our MS project, that is the first thing we will do. We'll first of all list all our activities. Say okay, these are the key activities we need to do and all that. The next is now to sort of say, you know what, we now need to sequence activities. When we sequence the activities, what we're trying to do, or uh, all we're trying to do when we sequence activities is to say, you know what, at this point, uh, where are you? Where is my, okay, yes. So at this point, we can say, we can say, you know what, we want to talk about what is Start to start or start to uh, finish to start. Let's talk about finish to start first. Finish to start. We'll talk about, you know what, um, start to start. We'll talk about finish to finish. There is the last one which I won't talk about. Okay. So let's talk about start to start. I mean, finish to start. When we talk about finish to start, what we're talking about here is an activity needs to finish before another activity starts. So that means activity A, what are those? So what, in all of the things you've listed, in all of the things you've listed, I could see someone said training, someone said, you know what, um, requirement, gathering of requirement and baselining. Someone said, you know what, research and all that. Someone also said, you know what, we need to uh, uh, um, do a kind of audit do a kind of what they do recruitment, do data migration and integration. Fine, we've listed all of that. That was what we did when we did our defined activity, okay? When we did a defined activity, that was what we did at that point in time. So we can now say, okay, while we've done that, the next thing we now need to think about is what is next? What is the next activity we need to talk about? 
we now need to now say, okay, what do we need to do first? After we're doing that first, what is the next thing we need to do? After that, what's the next thing we need to do? That is what we're talking about when it now comes to sequencing of activities. So as a project manager or as a PMO person, you are expected to work, as a PMO person, you're expected to work with your project manager to understand, okay, well, we, well this is our first activity. After we finish the activity, what activity is next? What activity is next? By the time we have all of that, we can then talk about, okay, what is, which activity needs to finish before an activity starts. You will agree with me that, you know what, gathering of requirement needs to start, I mean, needs to finish before we can say we want, we want to start design, okay? We need to migrate or we need to finish, we need to uh, kind of do data migration and integration before we can say, you know what, we've got data on the laptop for us to organize training on. Okay. We need to say, you know what, we need the scope, we need the scope at hand before we can even say we want to recruit, we want to understand who we need to recruit. So that is what we're trying to say here to say, you know, what activity needs to finish before an activity needs to start. You will agree with me that you can't start deployment unless you have you have all of the, you have all of those laptops or you have if, if not all, you have the laptop data cleansed already. So you can't actually start doing deployment unless you have a data cleansing on those laptops and make sure that those laptops are free to use. So that's what we're saying to say, you know, finish to start. Now, while you're running your project as well, there is something we call the start, I mean, start to start, meaning activity A and activity B can start together. We can say, you know what, based on, Based on uh, um, um, the issue we have at the moment, we want both data migration because we don't really have a time off. We say uh, we have the capacity. We can do both data migration and training at the same time. Okay, we don't really need, we don't need all of the data. So we can, they can start together or we can say, no, they are starting together, but it will start one, one day after, one day after we start data migration okay so that means what we're trying to put a kind of lag in between them say we're starting data migration on a tuesday but we want data migration and training to start together but fortunately we need one day of data at least one day of data to be done on the on, on those on the deployment before we can start so we can say okay they are start to start but with a one day lag so we won't start one day until that that is what we call start to start with a kind of a, a lag in between them. And also we can say, you know what, activity A and activity B, not necessarily starting together, but must finish together. So we can say that, you know what, both training and sign off. We can say training is that, then data, data uh, 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 migration or integration sign off. We can say both of them needs to finish together. So we can say, you know what, the moment we finish training is that at the same time we want to finish data migration and integration as well. They finish the same day. They finish together. So we'll say that finish. I mean, we can't say that activity A has finished until activity B finishes. So at that time, we're not saying it is finished to finish. So what we're just trying to do here is to do the second part by sequencing our activity just to make sure that our plan is realistic. Okay. It might not be the true, it might not be the unrepresentative reflection of what is happening. But at this point, we can say, okay, what activity do we need to start? Do we need to finish before we can start another activity? What activity do we need to start with this particular activity? What activity do we need to finish together? And that is what we're calling about sequencing of those activities. Sometimes you might see it as activity relationship. Sometimes you might see it as activity dependencies. What is dependent on what? Okay, you will hear dependencies, you will hear relationship. That is exactly what we're talking about here. But I'm trying as much as possible not to use dependency at this point because there is another interpretation of dependency I would want to give us as we proceed on uh, the class. Any Anything yet? Any question?
Any question from anybody? None from my end. Okay. All right. So next to that is, we're not saying that, you know what, we don't know the activities we need to do. We've defined those activities. We've tried to put those activities in sequence, in shape, to say, you know what, that is starting, that is finished before that one can start, that is that's, that's to start, that is that, that is that. We've done all of those sequencing. We're not saying that, okay. After we've done this sequencing, how long? So in most cases, guys, in most cases, these two guys here are always done interchangeably. These two guys, we do them, we do them interchangeably mo most times. We we'll say, you know what, whether duration, whether you want to do duration first or you want to do resources first. But in most cases, I always advise, you know what, you know the duration, do the duration first. Talk about, okay, why you're, what, even most plants, and I'll tell you this, most plants will do, most plants will even do defined activities, then do duration to say, you know what, yeah, we know, um, um, uh, requirement and licitation and baselining. Okay, we know how long that is going to take us. We're listing that. We're saying that it's going to take us 10 days. Okay, training. We know how many days training is going to take us. Training is going to take us five days. Even before we start sequencing, we can start putting duration al around that and we can start putting resources as well to say, you know, oh yeah, we know it's going to be Tokumba that will do this. Oh yes, we know it's going to be here and that will do this particular activity. Even before we start sequencing, do you get? So there is no, there is no particular... There's no particular uh, a strict order, but if you're writing, if if you're writing exams, if you're writing exams and all of that, yes, this is the order you need to follow. Define sequence, estimate resources, estimate duration, develop your schedule and all that. But when you get on the job, trust me, it you it it doesn't flow this way. Like I said, yes, you define your activities first. While you're defining your activities, you can start putting your duration, and that's exactly what we'll be doing this this night to say we're putting our duration on that stuff. We we'll put resources. We know who is doing what and all that. Okay, all right. We know who is doing what, and after that, we develop the shadow. We talk about okay, what's the duration? Who is doing what? Let's put resources to this, and after that, we control and monitor the project. That means we baseline the project, then we start monitoring and controlling what needs to be done from there. Okay, any question before we go ahead? All right, let's open our MS project then and see what we've got. Do you all have this page? You can open your MS project. So I'm not sure how you're gonna do that because you need to do what I'm doing. And also you need to um you need to log on to your laptop. So if you don't have two screens, if you don't have two screens, that will be difficult. If you don't have two screens, you can use your you can use your phone to log in to the class while you're able to access your MS project on your laptop. Okay. Is that something we are all is that something we, we've all done or I should give you a few seconds to get everything together? If you need a few seconds to get everything together, just give me a thumbs up. Okay, looks like everybody's ready for me then. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so nobody's giving me thumbs up. That means we are all ready. Okay. Uh, let me share. Let me put this here. So, so what I'm about to do here is. First and foremost, start listing our activities. Uh, and I'll say this MS project is glorified Excel spreadsheets. So if you know how to use Excel spreadsheets, you will definitely know how to impute data. Okay. MS project is glorified uh, Excel spreadsheets. And the beautiful thing 
for MS project, let me quickly say this to us. And I think I shared, I shared our experience on this platform in the past and all that. Uh, uh, that you can always, even if it's, if 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 the knowledge of uh, project management that you know is all that you know, and you can actually use MS Project very very well, there are jobs for you out there. There are jobs for you out there that is paying from 400, 500, 600 per day for you out there. Okay, just because you know how to use MS Project very very well. Okay. So, so that, I, I just want you to listen attentively. But what I was saying that this is not all about project. This, this is not what project management is all about. Okay, MS Project Tool is not what is not all what MS Project is all about. Okay, I mean, uh, what project management is all about. So yeah, I'm getting distracted here because, and I'll tell you why. I heard that for Nando's for my children since six thirty. That they were supposed to order to deliver by seven o'clock, and this is nine forty-eight, and they've not done that, and the kids are hungry downstairs and crying. So not my fault; it's a fault of delivery. Um, so it is well. Sorry, dear, it's well. <laughs> That's a my, wife, my wife is trying to manage the situation downstairs. She's not sending me text message. All right, so that's so so that is what we have. So even if the knowledge of MS Project you have and the knowledge of M MS Project is all you have, you can be a project planner, and and that that's it. That's it. You can hold on to that. And I could remember that. I'm not sure if I shared the testimony in here uh, or I shared that story in here. When I got to UK in 2013. Okay, so yesterday, two days ago, was was um, my 11th year that I started work in the UK, March the 26th. Okay, so when I got into UK, uh, I was a project management professional back in Nigeria and all that. So when I got into UK 11 years ago, I could remember sending my CV out and the... Because back in Nigeria, you're the project manager, you're the planner, you're the PMO, you're the risk manager, you're everything. They use you as everything on a project. So when I did my CV, I wrote all of this. I wrote my job description and all that on the CV. And I could remember a recruiter calling me to say, oh, you're the project manager. You're the PMO. You're the risk manager. You're this, you're that, you're that, you're the planner. Who Then who were you reporting to? Who was reporting to you? Say, no, this particular kind of CV will not fly in the UK. If you are on a project, you are the same planner, you're the same project manager, you're the same PMO and all of that. I say you have to specialize, you have to put, make sure you tailor your CV to one. So you said you understood where I'm coming from and all of that. And, in, and I just looked at myself, I say, you know what, I'm just coming all the way from uh, um, Lagos and all that. I've never worked with, with I've not really worked. The only place I, I ever worked is that I worked with uh, um, international people was back there in Shell on a particular project tank fan gauging system that I worked on in 2010, 2011, and all that. So I told myself, you know what, as a project manager, you will need to interface with a lot of people and all that. And I say, you know, at that point in time, my stakeholders management wasn't really that great. And also my um, speaking wasn't really that great. So what I told myself, what I told myself was, you know what, I have to hide myself behind the laptop. So I told on my CV as a planner to say, you know, hide behind the laptop, turn out the plans, work on MS Project, because I was really good with MS Project uh, P6 as well. I say, you know what, that's what you need to do. So I told on my CV, I know that. And the first project I got to work on with British Petroleum was as a planner, as a program planner, to work on various projects all together as their plan, to come and put their plan together, they were in trouble. So they needed someone who would use MS Project very well and all that. So that was my first role. And that my first role paid good money as well then as, as a planner. So it was all about MS Project. And I was on that project for 18 months using just using MS Project. It was just MS Project I was using, trying to put their plans together, trying to do all of their relationships for them, trying to pull resources on the plan, run a report for them. And that was all I did for my first 18 months before I was able to get, you know, gain 
a lot of confidence in speaking with stakeholders and all that. And, and I had to move to other projects. Okay. And that's exactly what I was saying to say, you know, some of you might not be able to get project managers role, but you can start with PMO as well, because PMO, you work with project manager, you can learn, you can learn the, on the, on the job with a project manager, how the project is being uh, I've done. When you work with a project a, a, a manager as a PMO person. So you might need to tailor for the first three months or six months, tailor your CV to work as a PMO person. And with that, or as a planner, with that, you can work, learn, shadow the project manager and get things done after that. Okay. So that is what I just, that's just by the way. All right. So let's list all of those activities we, we've spoken about initially. I've got a few activities I've, I've, I've listed here. So I'm just going to, uh, uh, copy and paste them into, like I said, Excel is, I mean, MS Project is glorified Excel. So what we're doing here is we're putting those activities. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We put activities in here. Okay. So let's keep on putting those activities, identify hardware. So as I'm dictating, you should be able to do your stuff to identify hardware and software upgrades needed for compatibility. Too long. On MS Project, you can go back. It's Primavera, you can go back. So I'm gonna do that software. Okay, I'm splitting that. Develop a deployment plan. Procure necessary license. Okay, <laughs> configure Office 365 account for users, set up as your active directory. Directory and user accounts. Uh, verify domain ownership, prepare network infrastructure, um, select a pilot group. For laptops, the install Office 365 application. On pilot laptop, on pilot. Yeah, let's do that pilot. Let's talk about pilot. Okay. So Guys, we have we have these in MS Project. In MS Project, there is something we call manual schedule and auto schedule. Okay. So when we talk about manual schedule, manual schedule um is all about saying that you know what I I want to do my plan manually, listing my activities, but I want to do my dates and I want to do my duration manually. But when you come to auto schedule, which I will always recommend auto schedule for everybody to say, you know what, auto schedule says, you know what, by the time I put my activities in there, I put my start date, calculate my finish date for me based on the duration. Okay. It's a good example is if you look at task mode, task mode is what I'm talking about. 
task mode at the moment is showing manual schedule. That's that's the that is the um, default. The default is manual schedule. But I expect us to change it to auto schedule. Okay, you change to auto schedule. You can see that you know what it is ready to automatically help you schedule your plan. Guys, if I'm if I'm speaking too fast or you're not getting what I'm saying, please unmute yourself and ask me questions. This is now tool, okay? I will run the tool because, and and let me quickly say this: we learn tools differently. We learn tools differently. We learn tools on a different pace. So, no matter what the question is, if you ask me to slow down, I need to do it one after the other. Please don't hesitate to talk, okay? Okay. And don't think, you know, or you're too slow to, to learn it. No, no, please don't ever think about that. It is too, we learn too differently. Okay. All right. Let me uh, just say, uh, let me say that. I just, just before you go uh, proceed, uh, I yes, can't, please, on task mode, I can yes. only see manual schedule. If you go to the drop down. So, so if you go to, if, because I think you're here. Because you're here, that is why you're only seeing manual schedule. Go to one of those activities and look at the drop down on one of those activities. Okay. Can you see it? Yes, I've seen it. Thank okay, you. Okay, good stuff. Okay. Does that work for everyone? Are we on are we all on the same page guys so far i'm, I'm sorry i can't find it either okay okay fine found it so excellent zakiat are we on the same page how did you do it for all of them at the same time it just i just drag it down okay after i, I did this one nothing. <laughs> i just i just drag it down so if you can see my cursor, yes, yes. Like I said, like I said, this is a glorified, it's a glorified Excel spreadsheet. So if you come to the, if you come to the lower part here, okay. If you come to the lower part, you will see a cross. By the time you see the cross, then you can do your drag down. Okay. Until you see the cross, you won't be able to do any drag down, just like your Excel spreadsheet. Nikke, are you with us? Yeah, kind of. Okay, I don't want kind of. Yeah, because um, I, I'm because I'm using my phone, so it's not giving me a full screen. Ah, so I'm okay. even struggling to put um all this. So I think I will just just follow and go back to it later because okay. it's making me. I'm going to slow the team down. Ah, that's fine. Talk, talk about are you with us. Are you on the same page with us? Mom, yes. Okay. Uh, Angela, are you on the same page with us? No, but I'm following up with you guys. Okay, that's fine. Do you have your MS project installed? No, it's not working on my MacBook. Okay, all right. Femi, are you with us? Yes, I am, but I have the same situation. I have a Mac. Ah, okay. Um, yeah. All right. I'm IJ, just following. Are you with us? Yeah, I'm with you. Okay. Uh, who else do I have on that call? For me, are you with us? If I have for me before, yeah. Yes, I'm with you. Okay. Um, Jubril, I think I'm seeing Jubril for the first time here. Yeah? Yes, I'm with you. Okay. Are you are you joining us for the first time? Uh yes, that's my first time. Yeah. Okay. Um, Shubomi, are you? Ola, a are you with us? Okay, yes, excellent. Okay, so guys, I'll I'll tell you the fast way to also change this. Sorry, to... Aya, you didn't ask me. Aya, you didn't ask me. It's I'm okay. so sorry. Who is that? Who for me? I called your name. You didn't that's Adedeji. Adedeji. Oh, that's Adedeji. No, of course you were the one that I was speaking initially. <laughs> okay. Are you with are you with us, Deji? Yes, I am. Okay, good stuff. All right, good stuff. So, 
Yes. We've got that. We've got that. But to make to make life easier, instead of you doing it for each of those activities, what you can do is the moment you open a new plan, okay, the moment you open a new plan, you can give the command to a new plan by going to file. You go to file. You go to options. Okay, are you with me? You go to file. I'll go back again. File. Options. Okay. When you get into options, you go into your shadow. And you can tell the shadow to say, you know, any activities I do on this particular plan, can you make it auto shadow? Because like I said, the default is manual shadow. But you, you're coming here to change the default on this particular plan and say, you know what, I want it to be auto shadow. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. So you will see now that and if I create any other activity now, it's going to come in as auto schedule and not manual schedule anymore. Okay? Could you go through that again, please? Sorry. Yes, I will do. Thank you. So you come to file. Okay? File. You come down to options. Then this pop-up, you get this pop-up. Okay. When you get a pop-up, you go to schedule. Just, just, yeah, yeah. Then you now go to new task created. You're telling that any new task I'm creating, make it auto schedule. The uh -huh. default is manual schedule. You just need to change it to auto schedule. Uh, okay, I can't see. So I split my screen, so I can only see part of yours. Um, okay, let me close this. Yeah. So where I can see um your the schedule, but where do I do the new? Um, the new. So if you go, if you come on this the command box here. Yeah. Okay. If you come on the command box, there are three subsections there. You can see calendar yeah. options. Calendar options. You can see schedule. schedule. And when you go to schedule options for this project, the first activity there. Okay. New, new task okay. Group. Okay. I've seen it. Thank you. Okay. Please so, stop. could you? I'm um, um, just. Uh, okay. Maybe I'm just going ahead of time. No, go ahead for me. No, the. the I tried going into um MS projects before, and yeah. I realized that um something about the project name. I couldn't put in a project name. It was just coming up as projects like one. So I was just thinking, could you actually change the project name? Yeah. Is what is whatever you save the project as, okay? Okay. So let's assume I'm saving this particular project. Let's save the project uh, as my computer. Let me put it on the desktop. I'm saving the project as. Uh, what did we say the title of the project is again? What did we give the? Deji, what did we say the project is? Um, my uh, office three it's of deployment. No, we we gave it a name, Project Fly or something. Oh, really? I'm not. I can't remember that. Okay, okay. Let's just say project project three six five. Okay. Um, Nika, go ahead. Um, I just wanted to ask because I went, to, I did the same step you did now, yeah. but I still have to go to the task mode to start clean, clicking it one at a time, like to get it to the auto mode. So, what did you do to automatically change everything without you having to go into the task mode to drag to kind of um, um yeah. filter it so, and flip so, it? Yeah. So, so, so because I know what you did, I can guess. Let me guess what you did. Don't forget that this particular command hmm, says new task created. So all the tasks you created initially, they won't change to auto. Okay. It's now the new task you are creating after now. So that's why I said the moment you open your MS project next time, before you go start putting task in there, come to this place, okay, and change it. Okay, all right. Thank okay. you. Okay. Uh, Fumi, can you now see now that your project one has changed to the name of a project that I, I saved it as? Mm 
Yeah, for me. Are you there? Yes, yes, I can see. Thank you so much. Excellent. Okay. So, like I said, glorified, glorified uh, uh, um, um, Excel spreadsheet. So, let's now put our duration to say, okay, how long will this conduct an assessment of the current stuff? Let's assume this is going to take us 10 days or five days. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that. So, we'll put five days there. Because the moment I put five days there, you can see automatically it's picked up a start and a finish date for me. Okay. We'll talk about start and finish day later, so don't bother yourself about that. I can say identify hardware upgrades in there for compatibility. Let's assume that's three days each. Develop a deployment plan. Let's assume that's a 10 days task. Procure license. Procure license. Let's assume that's a 20 day task. Configure Office 365 account for users. Let's assume that's a 10 day task as well. Set up. As your active directory and user account, another 10 days to do that. Verify domain ownership. You can do that in three days. Prepare network infrastructure. It's big. Let's do that. Select a, a group of, of pilot laptops. Three days. Then install Office 365 to pilot's laptop as one day. Okay. I lost you on the days. From procure, please. I think I missed one. How many did you give for procure? Uh, I said procure is twenty days. Okay. Thank you. And and configure. Uh, configure. I said ten days to. Oh, oh. Yeah, ten days for oh. configure. Oh. Oh, thank please. you. I've I've made it big dark. Can you see my screen? I've made it bigger for, I've made the lecture bigger. I'll show you how to do that. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. 6.30 delivery is now 10, 10, 10, 10.20. You should sue that company for keeping the children hungry. Yeah, one of them has even gone to bed hungry. I think so, if I need to chase it up, it might have been delivered to another house. So they said it's still, it's still. I'm, 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 I'm checking the map on this stuff now. It's still, it's still in, it's still in the store. It's not left yet. It's still in the um, Nando's, whatever. Just cancel it. Just get something else for the children to eat. That's going to be war tonight to tell them to eat something else. Okay, are we good? Are we all good? Ian, go ahead. Hi, Jake. Now, I wanted to answer that, yeah, we are good. Okay, excellent. Okay. So we've got that. So the next thing we now need to do is to say, you know what, let's sequence. Let's sequence or before we even sequence this, let's try and let's try and do something. Let's try and arrange our our activities properly. Arrange it properly doesn't mean we're sequencing. We just need to, we just want to say, you know what, different stuff. So I can say that you know what? All of these activities, all of these activities here, they are preparation phase. You will agree with me that they are all preparation phase, right? Conduct, identify, develop a deployment plan or procure licenses. They are all preparation stage. Okay. So if they are all preparation stage, that means we can group them together as preparation stage, right? Okay. To say let's group them together, what we can do is I can come here and insert a task. Do you see what I did? Yeah. So that. I came on the first task. So two ways you can do that or three ways you can do that. Okay. For some of us that has got some funny laptops, you can come here and press insert on your keyboard. When you press insert on your keyboard, it will insert an activity here. That's one method to do that. You can right click on that particular task and insert task here. Okay. You're going to get one. 
Another thing you can do is you can come here and press insert task. Okay. When you do that, we can call this place, say, preparation phase. Okay. When we say this preparation phase, and all of these activities are whole preparation phase, what you can do is to just highlight everything using your mouse. That's if you have a mouse, but if you don't have a mouse, just go there and press your shift key down. Press your shift key and press the down buttons to highlight everything, just like Excel spreadsheet. Okay. Remember, what do we want to do? We want to group all of these as preparation phase, right? Then you can come to this guy here. Can you see where my, my, my mouse is? Can you all see where my mouse is? It's called indent. So I've pressed that indent. Indent is just, just like you do, just like you do in your Word document when you want to do a bullet point and you want that bullet point to go in on that Word document. It's the same thing we're doing here. Or you want to do it on Excel spreadsheet to push, to push some of your tabs or push some of your uh, rows inside. That's what we've done here. Okay, I've just pushed them in so that I can group everything. And by grouping everything, I can collapse this. When I collapse, everything has gone under. So I've grouped all of these activities as preparation phase. Okay, I can group all of these as well. I can group all of the things I have here as well as infrastructure setup. Okay, so mine, I can see. Mine doesn't have the your the um what do they call it? The task the taskbar. Or uh, is it the so I can't what? see where to group. The same thing as me. So I'm totally lost now. I'm just looking around to see okay. what Let's we're go. doing here. Let's go back. Okay. So have you all inserted preparation phase? Yes. You've yes. done that, right? Top, yeah. yeah. Okay, good stuff. So let's come to conduct an assessment. Let's press our shift button down and I like to procure necessary license. Yeah. Okay, you've done that. Have we all done yes. that? Yes, okay. I do. <laughs> so if you come here, can you all see these two guys? One is pointed to your left and one is pointed to yeah. your right. Yeah. On on uh, on mine, it's not all that is not shared. On a schedule there, isn't yeah. it? Where is it on yeah, that task? task? Yeah. It's on that task, yes. Okay, so I put oh. task. I've got I cannot I can see manual schedule or to schedule. So, Have you got another task? Um do you want to share your screen? Who, who is speaking? Is that for me? Yes, it's for me. Share your screen. It says you cannot start screen sharing while the other part is Spanish sharing. That's all right. I'll stop sharing. I'll stop sharing. Share your screen. Okay. So this cool. okay so can you give me on. i'm gonna i'm gonna ask for control now because i need to i need to set up your let's set up your screen properly give me control please do i have control now yes okay So how did you do that? I just went task, to task. You know? task is it. Yeah, okay. I clicked on task. I only I could only see the paste clipboard and then the manual schedule. Yes, you have to pin it. So I've pinned your stuff now. Okay. I've pinned all of these bars on your stuff now, mm -hmm. so it won't disappear anymore. Okay. It's just gonna be here. Okay. So how did you do it again? Because I think Adenike has the same. It just yeah. No, I found mine. I found mine actually. Okay. I've collapsed it now. Okay. So mm -hmm. you can come here. 
and then pin it. Okay. 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 So it stays. Okay. So if it stays, remember I said, you know what, I light from here. Yeah. And you can see those two are there. Yes. Okay. Then you push it in. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. All right. That's fine. I'll stay, I'll stay on your laptop. That's fine. Let me stay on your laptop. Okay. If you don't mind. That's okay. Okay. Good stuff. I was gonna mute. I was going to try and mute. Um, but you have. Oh, to that was why. Mute. That was why I got. Yeah, the mouse moved. That's fine. Okay. So we have that. So another thing we can do again is to group. Oh, them. please! I'm so sorry. I'm really, really Quiet. sorry. Quiet. I've pinned it down now. I thought you were going to carry on when you said we should we could see the arrow pointing left and right. Yeah. So I don't know what you did after this. So what do I click? Because I've I've um highlighted okay. what I need to. Yes. Can you see where my my cursor is? Yes, I can. That's it. Press that. Okay. Uh, I, can't see your, I can't see where, where your cursor is. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Is on indent. The arrow that is going to your right. All right. Okay. 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 You indent that, and it goes in. All right. Okay. When you get three people speaking. Others that have got their laptops, are you following? Like I said, please stop me, ask me silly question. Ayo, why did you type that thing in there? Or why is that why is A behind that? Okay, because this is too, and we learn to on a different level. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry, Ayo. I'm looking at the screen now. I, I seem to have questions. some things missing. Okay. The sisters, Ross, resource names, add new column. I don't have that on my own MS project. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get there. Okay. All right. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll stop sharing and I'll I'll collect your own screen. But before I collect your own screen, let's let's okay, that's fine. Yeah. Can you share your screen, please? Let me stop. Um for me, can you stop sharing? Yeah, I'll stop sharing. From here. All right, can you share your screen now, Nikkei? Okay. Um one second. So I've done that. Excellent. Okay. So, so yeah, you have it there. You have it there. So you can see after finish. Yes. There is a line that seems to be thick that looks like a double line. Yeah, come down. Keep coming down. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Move to your left a bit. Okay. No, it's not showing. Don't worry. Give me control. Not sure why you're not doing that. Uh, I've requested for control. Okay. Yeah, that's it. You just did it. That's what I'm asking you to do. Just push it to your right. You've done it. Okay. All right. You've done it. Okay. Thank you. That's fine. I'll still call it. I'll still use your laptop. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry, I don't, I've, got, I've got OCD. I don't like double lines. I just abbreviated it just to catch up, so I didn't put the full. That's alright. I mean, I don't like I don't like seeing double lines on MS Project. Okay. All right. That's why I'm I'm dragging. Sorry, apologies. Is your laptop? Or... <laughs> just don't like double lines. Okay, that's fine. So we now you can see we now have this as well. So remember, I told you that you can add you can add uh, um, a task in here, and when you add the task, we highlight everything, and then push everything in. Right? Yes. That was what we did. There's another way to do it. Okay, mm -hmm. another way to do it that is very fast is to just come here instead of clicking come here instead of clicking task. I can just mm -hmm. click summary. Okay. When I click summary, it creates what I needed to do here for me. So I can now call this infrastructure setup. Okay. But if you notice something now, question, Ian? 
Yes, I'm lost. Where did you click summary? My I think my screen is there. Okay, okay see so you. Okay. okay, thank you. Oh, finally. The food has arrived. I want to believe so. Google has landed. <laughs> I just I just had the door open, so I want to believe so. Okay, are we together again? Have you seen it? Yes. Yes, continue, please. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Ian, have you seen it? No. Okay. Do you have all of these bars? Yes, have I have them. them. Let if me go to the insert. If you go to insert bar, insert uh, portion of the panel. Have you seen it? No. Uh, okay, yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got yeah, I've got it. I've got it now. Thank you. Excellent. Yeah, I've got it. Thank you. Good Thank stuff. you. Thanks. So, guys, when you see this, when you see this, after looking at this, you will notice that it's only configured that seems to be under infrastructure setup. Right? Can you see? So we then need to push every other one. We highlight the other ones and then push the other ones as well under it. Does that make sense to anybody? Yes. Yes, please. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. So we have phase, we have the uh, uh, um, preparation phase and all that. Now, the way I always like to do it, for them to know that, yes, you know how to use MS Project, yeah, you're a seasoned product manager or you're a seasoned planner or you're a seasoned PMO. The way I really want people to do it is we need to name the project. Yes, we've got a project there, but I always love to name that project. And naming the project is just for you to still come here and just I, I am. I'm so sorry. Um, The infrastructure setup. Yes. It's my own. It's not like yours. It's How not indenting. It's not what it's not indenting. Yeah, it's not when I click, I think I've missed the step. Okay. Let's go back. I'll, I'll show it again. So okay, so I put in okay. So you put in you put in yes, I put that in you yes. put in the summary task. Yes. When you put in the summary task, you will notice that it's only configure that will be under infrastructure setup. Yes. Now you now need to highlight the remaining from setup as your down and then push it in and then put your indent. Indent again, okay. 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 Yeah, thank you. All right. So now you can now see that for me now, and I have project 365. On that project 365, I'm now grouping it's just for you to organize your project plan properly. Because that's the beauty of what YMS project is there is just to organize your plan properly and making sure that you know what my activities are grouped and i can see what is happening within the project okay so i've done this i've done the um the project phase i've done the infrastructure phase okay another ocd that i have i hate seeing question marks All right. So, next thing we need to do is uh, okay because I want you to do it as well, Nikki. You can, you can, you can stop sharing and let me share so that you can practice. Practice makes perfect, isn't it? Because if I'm doing it, you're not doing it. You can stop sharing now. Let me share. Okay. I will share. Thank you. That's all right.
Oops. Can you see my screen? Uh, Ayo, can I ask a quick question? So Go where ahead. where I've created my um my oh god um the infrastructure bits um so I noticed that it didn't come up as um auto automat auto is it automatic automated um, auto, auto schedule auto schedule and something is then something is wrong with your setup that we did because ours ours is coming up the one I did for um Nike is coming up as auto share. Because I've I've gone back, I've um I selected new for a new one. So go back okay. and check it then. All right. Hi Ayo. Hello. Yeah, sorry. Um I think I've got um a slight challenge. Uh okay. my, go ahead, please. my screen is not displaying as no matter how hard I try to reduce the screen so I could have a full grasp. It's not displaying all the um, sections. I don't know if that's um, something you can quickly help me with. Yes, yes. Share your screen, please. Okay. Yeah, I think you can see my screen now. Uh, yes, I can see your screen. So what do you mean with that? Um, I can't seem to see the... Ah, okay, uh, you can't seem to see the Gantt charts, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. You know what you do for me? Go on Go on 2024, 20, on your right-hand side, on your right-hand side. Oh, okay. That Gantt chart you said you couldn't see. Come down, keep coming, keep coming down. That's it. That's it. No, stay there. Right click. Yeah, right click. Please go to Zoom. Guys, don't worry, we'll learn about all of this later. It's just put entire project. Entire. Um, I should just. Put no, second to the last. Way. Second to the last check. Entire. Oh, yeah. yeah, sure. Click OK. OK. Yeah. You should have all your bars now. Right? Yeah. Thank you. Excellent. Good stuff. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sure. There's one more thing, please. Um, Go ahead. I can't seem to reduce the screen to something as um as a minimal as yours. Like it's so filled on the screen. Like I don't kind of like that. Is is one? Is dependent on the laptop you're using. Oh. Okay. Okay. Number two is also dependent on the version of the MS project okay. you're using. I guess so. Yeah. Okay. And also, yeah. and also the way you reduce the way you reduce uh um letterings or stuff on Excel on Excel spreadsheet where you've got seventy percent eighty percent it doesn't work like that for MS projects. So that 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 plus or minus you're seeing on is just for the Gantt chart. Is not for the for the um for the um left hand side of the MS project. Oh okay yeah thank you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any other question from anybody? Okay. In the absence of none, I want us to get to um, linking activities tonight. Then I can give us um, assignment on that. Let me know where you can see my screen. Yes. Okay. So MS project comes with a default. So the next thing, don't forget the next thing we've um we've defined our activities, right? We've put in resources on our activity. I mean, oh, we've put in duration on our activities, isn't it? We've um, tried to group, we've grouped our activities as well to, to a large extent uh one more grouping one more grouping one more grouping office 365 i mean project 365 okay all right good so 
The next thing we need to do now is to sequence our activities. To now say, okay, what comes first? Mm. What, what? Yeah, go ahead. Is anybody saying anything? Okay. So we can say what comes first, what goes next, what comes before what, what can start together, what can finish together, and all that. So let's do this. Conduct an assessment of the current infrastructure. That is our first activity. We now say, you know, after we conduct, after we conduct a, an assessment of current activity, that is where we can now start identifying the hardware upgrades needed for comfortability. Okay. So what we need to do here, guys, please look at me properly. What we need to do here is to come here, press your shift button down, and click the next activity. Or if you're using mouse, if you're using a mouse, just push that. Now, when you come to this, to that, to this particular portion that I'm pointing, can you see where I'm pointing to? You will see something like a chain, like two rings coming together. Can you all see that? Yeah, I can see. Okay. I can't see. Sorry. Okay. It's a ring, a ring. ring coming together. Do you see that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Everybody, can you all see it? If you can't see, let me know. I'm sorry. I can't see. That's fine. Okay, you don't have to be sorry. Just say you can't see, okay? <laughs> All right. So it is over here. Can you see it? Can you see where my mouse is? Can you see my mouse? Nika, can you see my mouse? Yes, I can. Okay. So can you see where I just put my mouse now? That ring. Okay. Okay. Like a chain. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's it. So if you press, if you, if you press that ring, automatically, it should join those two activities together. Okay. Okay. Can you see my Gantt? It's put arrow on both. One arrow is coming, saying, you know what, that activity is finishing. Then the next activity is starting. Ian, you've got a question. No, no, I'm with you. Okay, good stuff. Deji, are you with me? Yes, I am. All right. Um, Femi, are you with me? Yes, I am. All right. Angela, are you with me as well? Yes, I'm with you. Okumbo, are you with me? Yes, I am. All right. Zakiat, are we together? Yeah. All right. Awesome. So you can see that I've linked, I've linked both three and four together. Okay. Now, four and five. Four and five identify hardware upgrades and identify software upgrades. Those two activities can actually start together. We can start both activities together. Okay. But MS project comes with a default of finish to start. So if I if I pick those two, if I pick those two and I press my link, it's gonna come as a finish to start. So can you all do that? Can you all link four and five together, please? Is that done? Do we still use the same chain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you use in linking. Yeah. Okay, Anytime okay. you want to link, that's what you will do. You will use. Make sense? Have we done it? Are they linked? Yes, they are, but um, it's showing under the predecessors um column three and four. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Ignore ignore that predecessor column for now, please. Uh, okay. okay. Ignore that predecessor column. It's is a fast means of doing.
doing it, but I'll talk about it later, but I wanted to go through the normal route of doing it first. Okay. So we've said, you know what is, like I said, it comes with a default of finish to start, just like you're seeing it on my screen. Okay. Just like you're seeing it here. But in, remember, we now said, you know what, those two activities can start together. Was that the agreement that those two activities can start together? As a project manager, your team, the, the, the guy that is actually doing the work is saying, you know what, project manager, you know, Biodo, we can actually start these two activities together. So the moment the, um, the project manager says that, you want to make it a start to start. Two ways to do it. Two ways to do it is to come here. Okay. You can see where my arrow is. Can you see where my cursor is? My cursor is on the arrow that is pointing to the start part of the bar. Are you all getting that? If I click mm -hmm. on that, I'm gonna have this prompt coming up for the task dependency. It's quite sensitive. It is, it is quite sensitive that you need to get that arrow part. Okay, you have to put your cursor on that arrow that is pointing to the bar. Then you double click. Is it coming? Guys, the moment you know how to use it, you know how to use it. It's, it's an easy tool to use. It's because this is your first time of using it or maybe this is your second time of using it. That's why it looks like it is difficult. It is the simplest tool you can think about. Very more simpler than than uh, uh, Primavera, simpler than Smart Sheet or whatever. A clarity plan view and all that. Okay, is like I say, it's like an Excel spreadsheet. Yeah. Um. Are you sorry? Which of the arrows? There are about two of them here. So don't forget that we are only concerned about three and four, for now. Okay. Okay, so it is it is that arrow that is linking three and four that we want to adjust. Okay. Sorry, Ayo, do you mean four and five? Oh, sorry, four and five. That's the three and four. Okay, and all right. Thank you. Um, okay, while you're doing that, give me one minute. My little boy just woke up. All right, sorry guys. Have you seen the arrow? One five. Have you seen it? Uh, nobody's answering me. Have you all gone to bed? Or? Yes, yes, we have. <laughs> Okay, good stuff. So when you click on it, uh, no, like I said, it's quite sensitive. Yeah, you just click on that. Jeez. Does it give you option? Task dependence, is it? Yeah, that's it. So what we're saying is what? We want to do start to start, right? So you can do the drop down and put start to start to it. Are we there? Yes. So when you click it, you can see the magic is now doing a start to start. The two bars are now together. Sorry, Ayo. Um, on the arrow, did you left click or right click? Just double click on it. Double click. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, it's quite sensitive that. If you don't click it well, it gives you something else. Okay. So we should put it to start to start or yes, sorry. start to start. Start to start, yeah. Yes. Done. Are we all together, everyone? If you if you were unable to get it, just give me thumbs up, please. If you didn't get that, give me thumbs up. I just cried again, just a few explanations on that one. So what you what you saying is um because we have identified those activities, they start at the same time? No, no, we we're we're making that we're making that uh planning, we're making that planning decision because we know what we're doing. Do you get we can say that no, we've we've met up with let's assume is is uh for me that is that is um, doing that particular task. So we've met up with Fumi to say, you know what, Fumi, you said, you no, know, we need to identify hardware upgrades and we need to identify software upgrades. Fumi said, yes, we need to, but you know what? We can actually start those acti those two activities together. We don't have to finish identification of hardware before we start identification of software. We can do both. We can start both together. Okay, thank okay? you. So it's based on that decision that we've now put in, in our plan now. Thank you. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, excellent. So let's not assume that we're not saying that, you know what, after that, start to start, after that, we're saying, yes, we can do, um, we can now do, develop a deployment plan. After we've conducted assessment, we've identified what we need, we've identified both, we can now say, you know what, guys, let's now conduct assessment. So we can say that is a finish to start. So you can see it's a finish to start. So it's finishing to start. But next activities to that, next activity to that is procure, procure necessary license. Okay. Procure necessary license. We can say, uh, yeah, it's going to disrupt what I want to do. Okay. Sorry, guys. Let's change this procure necessary license to 10 days. We need to do something. Okay. So while we're doing that, we can say develop, develop a deployment plan and procure necessary license are finish to finish. Okay. We're saying that both needs to finish together based on what we need to do. Both activities can finish together, you know, because we can't, we can't, <clears throat> we can't finish deployment. We can't finish development of the deployment plan unless we have what we need to procure. That's plain assumption now, not necessarily true. This that is the plain assumption we're making for the purpose of this class. To so say, okay, let's do that. So when we do that, we cannot put both together as finish to finish. So I will leave you guys to do the finish to finish while I look on. You know what to do? Do the default finish to start, click on the arrow and change it to finish to finish. Sorry, I, um, I think I'm lost there. <clears throat> okay. So myself, I said, I'm lost. I said six and seven. Yeah. Six and seven is finished to finish. That's the relationship we want to put between six and seven. We want to put a relationship between six and seven. And the relationship do you, do you want... highlight both of them? Yeah, you have to. Yeah, you have to highlight both of them. Put in your link first. Then after putting your link, which is your finish to start, you double click and change it to finish to finish, isn't it? Done, I guess. Have you all done that? Yeah, I just did that. Okay. So so while we've while we've done that, I will leave infrastructure set up as the homework for us to do. So let's concentrate on this upper part. 
So while we're doing that, remember someone was asking me about the predecessor columns. Okay. And I said, you know what? Don't disturb yourself on the predecessor columns for now because this is the fastest way of doing things when it comes to linking relationship and it might, quite, it might be quite confusing. So let's do that. Remember we said three, three must finish before four can start, right? So we can say the predecessor, predecessor, what we're saying is predecessor is it was the preceding activity. So for four, the preceding activity is what? Three, three. right? Yeah. For five, what's that? Is someone's video on? Oh. Okay, Femi's video is on. We can see you, Femi. You look handsome. <laughs> oh, he didn't know his video was on. Okay, so we're saying that you know what? Uh, for four and five, the predecessor to four, to five is what? Is four. Oh. But yeah. four what? Start to start, right? Start to start, yeah. So we can say four SS. Okay. The predecessor to six is... Ayo. Sorry. Yes. For mine, it's already put four SS in five. Already. Yes. Yes, because you don't forget you've done it. You've done it the way you should do it. Okay. okay. What I did, if you remember, what I did was to delete everything before doing it. I went back to default. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. This is what I have. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Based on what we did. So I just say, you know what, let's delete everything and I'm starting afresh. Oh, okay. Thank you. So, so starting out fresh for me, I'm putting three there. I'm putting four SS there. I'm putting six there. And I'm putting seven FF. What am I doing? Sugar. Oh, don't do this to me. Yes. Okay. Four SS, then that is five then this is 6FF. Okay? So instead of going through, I like this, put the link and all that, you can just put the numbers. If you know the numbers, you can just put the numbers in there. And this is always very, very good because if you have a plan, if you have a plan as big as this, oh, we're recording. Can you pause the recording, please? Get more, get more activities, get more activities to this. After you get more activities to that, link them up, make assumption on the linking, whether you want to have finish to finish, start to start and all that. Okay, I'm not fussy about that. I just want to practice and have a better understanding on that. Put duration as well. The next week, next week when we come together, we'll talk about resource allocation. Okay, as well as some of the uh, uh, milestones and also formatting. We'll talk about milestones and also formatting when we meet next week. Okay, any question tonight from anybody? I can see the quietness. Yes, it's a lot of things you've put in tonight. And I appreciate that. I appreciate all the questions and all that. Okay, please. Let's practice. Let's listen to it again and let's practice. Okay. Uh, yes, it's, it's quite uh, interesting. So thank you. Awesome. Awesome. All right. No problem. See you guys next week. Thank you. 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 Thank you.